Hello and welcome to It's Time for Yarn. Today we have another box of fun. However, slight variation. It is actually a bag of fun. My cousin Jennifer, who you've heard me talk about several times, has driven in from Mississippi with her family. And so I wanted to have some things for them to enjoy while they're here, specifically her five-year-old daughter, Charlie Rose. I wanted her to have some things to play with while she was here. So I took a little trip to Dollar Tree and I filled up my bag full of fun. Okay. Okay. So come on in. Okay. So this is my cousin Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer. <laughs> you guys have heard me talk about her a lot and her daughter Charlie Rose. I love Jennifer so much. We have a lot of memories together as cousins often do. She is pretty close to my number one cousin. I have <laughs> several cousins that I love deeply, so I can't call her my number one cousin. We're basically With, sisters, though. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like that. So, but they are here to visit for the next week, and I'm excited. Um, happy holidays to everybody. We celebrate Christmas, so whatever holiday you're celebrating, awesome. We're celebrating Christmas together, so I wanted to have some little trinkets for her daughter, Charlie, to be able to play with and um i wanted to have an like an unbagging if you will with jennifer to get her reaction to the things that i picked up from dollar tree really so excited. let's get started who doesn't like opening presents <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> so first up mm -hmm, i mm -hmm, immediately mm -hmm, see mm -hmm. Candyland. What? I love that game. Okay, look, my mom played that with me so much when I was little. It's just a fun game and oh it's God. just whimsical and fun. Okay, so I got that to play with Charlie. Charlie got this for Christmas last year and I have been playing it nonstop since then. <laughs> <laughs> so we just have the little Dollar Tree version. So like, you know, if it gets messed up, whatever, it's fine. Next. Oh my God. Paw Patrol. You know that's where it's at. Paw Patrol. It's Paw Patrol, but it's also Shrink and Play. It says Shrink and Play. I don't know what that means, but essentially it's like a little scene. It's like an apartment, a little firehouse or something, and you put the little characters in it, and they play. Yeah. So, I don't know why it's called Shrink and Play. That part's kind of confusing, but, you know, it's yeah. kind of like basically paper dolls, but with... It may Paw be Patrol. the thing that we have to put in the oven and they shrink down and become hardened. Hmm. She saw some of those on her tablet with, I think, um, one of hmm. the influencers on TikTok and, or YouTube. And she was like, we need to buy this. Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. amazing that you found that at Dollar um, Tree. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll keep you guys updated. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Next. Classic monster truck. Yes. And look, it's purple. That's her favorite color right now. I saw that. I was like, oh, my God. This is Charlie Rose all over she it. She has so. to have a purple monster truck. Yes. Her. And this one, I don't know if you noticed, but it says motorized. So this is one of the ones that you like, you pull it back and like, and you let it go and like, <laughs> takes off. Love it. Exciting. She has to have that. Mm -hmm. So next we have a, what is that? A pink Matchbox ice cream truck. Oh. A little ice cream truck. So she, she is getting so she doesn't know. She's getting so many Matchbox like like racetrack things for Christmas. Oh, cool. okay. Like it's motorized, so you just put them in there and they shoot off. And it takes a, does its thing. Okay, I'm a little cool. anxious about okay. it, but I'm also excited to see how it works. <laughs> Listen, I that. can't imagine how your dog's gonna react to that. Like, what's happening in this car? Just take it off. But I got this because it's awesome you yeah, know it's, it's pink it's girly but it's, it's also pretty cool yeah so. and it feels kind of heavy so it's gonna fly fast. okay next what is this a memory flash so this is basically a handheld uh simon simon says game that we used to have in the 90s mm -hmm. yeah i mean it makes me think of like a bop it where a it's bop like it. bop it Flip it. Oh. You know, that whole thing. Yeah. That could but. be what this is. Like so, let's see. let's see what it says. What does it say on the back? It says, 
Okay, use a screwdriver to open. That's not it. <laughs> mm, oh, slide the switch on the back to on. Memory flash will flash one color. Touch the color. Then two colors will flash. Repeat the sequence. Continue repeating the flashing colors in each sequence and try to reach 15 steps to win. If you press the wrong color, memory flash will allow a second chance. If no button is touched for 15 seconds, memory flash will turn off automatically. To restart, slide the switch to off and then back on. The, to consider the battery, turn off when not in use. Okay. So right. it's like Simon it's gonna, says or It's gonna it. like flash lights and you have to remember the order that it flashed them in. Okay. Fine, yeah. fine. Oh my God. It does require battery, so hopefully we have those. What is this? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is okay. You guys. I'm so excited for this. You guys. <laughs> I don't even know. Don't you love those? I cannot <laughs> I cannot tell you how many hours of fun in the car driving back and forth from Disney World uh -huh. I had. I'm taking this. <laughs> <Can we> leave? <laughs> listen. You don't listen. Need to keep this. <laughs> There's another one in there. There's two. There? So this is one, one for you and one for me. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh. Yes, look, see. Ah! So this one is under the sea theme, so this aerial, space. and that one's space, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, that's cute. I mean, like, they're Dollar Tree, so it's not really Ariel and Buzz Lightyear, but you know, yeah. we're from Florida, so to us, it's, it's Ariel and Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, next we have, uh, this wind-up <laughs> show the people. fishing game. Show the people. Which is. Show them. It's a little froggy, and there's tiny little fish. Can you believe I found that at Dollar Tree? No, like I, yeah. seriously, is it? It's wind up, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You wind it up, so it doesn't even take batteries. Like that's awesome. You know, hold on. We gotta that. see. We gotta see if you this can works. Even, those are the same fish that are in the ones that are like fifteen dollars at Walmart. Why? Because okay. we we've had those before. So, <laughs> Dollar Tree for the win. For you to find this at Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Dollar Tree for the win. Okay, <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Does it? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm look. Charlie is gonna be doing good if she even gets to she's, play with this thing because <laughs> she's probably <laughs> in the next room. Like, why am I not we're seeing gonna, these toys? <laughs> we're gonna fight. <laughs> literally, you guys, on the other side of this wall behind me is the room that Charlie is in. So, Speaking of this wall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has anybody noticed? Yes. <laughs> Look, okay, listen, y'all. I had this puzzle forever, and I was so excited to like put it together, put it on my yarn wall. I got it all, like, yes, I'm putting this puzzle together. It's gonna be up there. It's gonna be beautiful, and it's missing a piece. I'm like, what? Where is this piece? I could not. For the life of me, find the missing piece of this puzzle. Now, I've never had any issues with any Dollar Tree puzzles. But this one, for whatever reason, was missing a piece. I'm like, God, oh, come on. So I was like, you know what? I'm just stubborn enough that I'm hanging it up anyway. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. Well, Jennifer here, she texted me. She's like, Erica, the, are you serious right now? The There's, a piece missing. <laughs> There's a piece missing. There's a piece missing out of your puzzle. And I'm like, Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> she's like, look, I was distracted. So comment down below if you were also distracted by the missing piece in my puzzle. But you know, I discovered. I feel like, you know, just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it's not pretty. So I mean, just like many of the projects that I've made, there are imperfections, but that does not mean they're not beautiful. So you know what? I was like. It is what it is. I'm hanging it up anyway because I waited too long and I worked too hard. Like, no, it's going up on the line anyway. I don't care. And it's a beautiful puzzle. And it was just like my OCD <laughs> guys noticed there She's was like, one thing missing. <laughs> she said, put something over that. Cut it off. I need to put a little yarn flower <laughs> over it. It is absolutely. But then she said, like, the one missing piece doesn't take away from the beauty. And no. I like, I'm not doing agreed. it. I'm not doing it. Because we all have a missing piece somewhere, right? <laughs> and it doesn't take away that we're beautiful people. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> so... Take it in, you guys, and enjoy the missing piece. <laughs> enjoy the missing piece. 
<laughs> okay. Anything else in there? Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> so, I'm crazy and I go over the shop. Lots of stuff. We have yes. the classic etch a sketch, which yes. everybody loves. Okay, and what does Dollar Tree call it? Because they can't call oh, it etch a sketch. They call it etch. Oh, they do call it etch a sketch. <laughs> they call it etch a sketch. Okay. And this is etch a sketch.com. All right. So I maybe Dollar Tree and etch a sketch. They got a. That's right. They got a relationship going on. We got cool. another, we got another little matchbox car, and this one looks like an adorable. Isn't it so cute? Adorable little smart car. Look at that thing. So cute. I bet this thing is going to zoom down her racetrack. It, it feels heavy. I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I have to get that. So much fun. It's just fun. You know. This is, you have no idea. So, <laughs> we went camping uh, last month and we played Uno, but my niece brought a giant deck of Uno cards. This is like a miniature. Super tiny. Miniature version of Uno. Mm -hmm. And my five year old has learned the skills and crushes everyone because you know she's related to us <laughs> and we do everything better than everybody else we you know? do we have to be dramatic about it it is what it is so we're just like super I, competitive i need okay. to see these tiny cards <laughs> <laughs> i just i can't help it there's one more thing in the back but i need to see these tiny uh-huh but i need to see this tiny card what is that this are the instructions we don't need this oh okay, we already know how to play this game like a regular hand. Regular hand. Okay. <laughs> Super <laughs> tiny Uno cards. It's Uno on the go. But look, I didn't want to buy like a whole Uno card. I mean, I was at Dollar Tree and I saw them and they said, yeah. take me home. And I said, okay, give yeah. me my card. And so they got my card and here we are. So anyway, like, get ready to be destroyed later. Okay. They're perfect for a toddler hand mm -hmm. because like the giant Uno cards mm -hmm. legitimately were the size of this. Mm -hmm. and we'll you... talk about this in a minute. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> but look, honestly, I bought those for me and you so that I could like really. Girl, I've been practicing with her. <laughs> you had to practice so you could beat me. I'm just I saying. had to practice with her. She's trained like... now. Ooh, all in order. That's but, not I mean, gonna but work. listen, those are for when she goes to bed. And this is like us in the middle of the night because we haven't hung out in like a year being like okay let's stay up all night and play you know you know and then and the next will. morning and we're we like will. oh my gosh what were we thinking but here we are you know that that's what these are these are not for charlie okay. these are for me and you yeah but she can look at them she can right. well maybe we might hide them from her so she doesn't try, like feel bad that we won't play with her yeah Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay. Last, last thing. thing in the surprise bag mm -hmm. is a Little Mermaid Jumbo on the Go Adventure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, is this a sticker book? Yes. Plastic it's reusable plastic. stickers. <sighs> They like you can move them all around and stuff. Like you don't just like stick it on and it's done. Like you can move it. So are they slightly like magnetic? I know. I think it's the. You know what? Let's open it up. Let's just see. I think it's the like window cling type of. Stickers. Okay. It's like my favorite part about getting presents for my daughter is opening them beforehand and playing <laughs> and them. And playing them. Them. Like, them. Yes. Because you know. <laughs> It's you just reminiscent know. of our own childhood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, this is the new Little Mermaid. So, it's the beautiful Haley Berry. Yeah. I always want to call her Halle Berry. I know. But it's I, know not, this, I know it's not her, it's but like, not. I always want to say that. I, for the whole entire time they were advertising, thought it was Halle Berry. And I was like, well, she's kind of old to be the Little Mermaid. And then I realized I got the name wrong. It's the wrong <laughs> Berry. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stickers in here. <laughs> I mean, for Dollar Tree, that's a lot. And then, like, this is like several p pages of stickers. Okay. It's her Let's whole see. family. Flounder. Listen, I was really disappointed in the flounder because, look, I mean, that is not cute. That's not a cute flounder. <laughs> like, really? Come on. But whatever. You can't have it all, I guess. But yeah, see, they're like. The window clingy kind. Oh, so it's not really sticky. Right, right, right. But the way this is, it like sticks, it clings, because it's the window clean. Yeah. The window clean kind. So I cool. Could just, okay. I could take this off and put it on the car while she, we're driving home. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Like in the window, in the car? Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay, look. <laughs> I'm not the only smart one in the family. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. I mean, my <laughs> husband. Those are all her sisters. Yes, I, I love, love that. Look 
it's our sisters. Oh. My husband. Just for fun, fun facts. What? Two of her sister's names are Adrena and Adela. And I had friends in high school. One named Adrena and one named Adela. And I was like, what? You're Ariel's sister. <laughs> okay. Did you say that to them? No, but oh. I always thought it. So, Ariel. <laughs> so, Adrena and Adela, if you're watching. Probably not. But if you are, I always... You're Ariel's sisters. Is the way it is. <laughs> I always thought like it And this has, nice. like, a handle. So, like, you take all these stickers and you stick them in and carry it around with you. So, she can play with this a million times over in the car, at home, here at our house. Yeah. What else? Okay. So, now... Before we move on, one last thing we want to share that's just kind of like fun. Don't be snapping at my cat. Well, she's yelling. <laughs> she's yelling at me and I don't know where she is. <laughs> she's open the door. Oh, Go open okay. the door. <laughs> We're in Vidiola's room and Sorry. she's wanting to be in her room. And <laughs> Jennifer's trying to tell her to shh, quiet. Go here. here. I'm like, don't let her in. Here. We're in her room. Vidiola. Anyhow. So, one thing I wanted to share before we go is something that's super sentimental to our family. So, we have this suitcase that says, going to grandma's that I received from our nana, mm -hmm. actually. So, it says grandma's, but she was my nana, but, you know, grandma, Same nana. Thing. Right, right, right. So, she got this for me when I was little to take clothes or whatever to pack to go to her house now it had, it's blue and it has a little boy but whenever this particular suitcase came out i guess it was very popular <laughs> so she couldn't find a pink one with a little girl on it so she got me the little boy one and she told me she's like erica i'm so sorry it's a little boy one but that's all they had i was like okay you know, like, I don't care, you know? <laughs> and so I had a little blue suitcase with a little boy on it, but it said going to grandma's. And I'm telling you folks, I took this suitcase with me every time I went to my Nana's house. And you know, I had my clothes in it. I was like, I'm going to Nana's house. Bye, Mom. You know, <laughs> took my little suitcase with me. So when Jennifer, five years ago, had her daughter Charlie, I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And this was like way before I ever thought I would ever have a child. So I was like, you know what? I love this little suitcase. I want to pass it on to somebody for them to enjoy and to love. Like I loved it. And so I was like, Jennifer, <laughs> take this little suitcase and let Charlie use it. And let me tell you, Charlie loves this suitcase. Aggressively. <laughs> she loves it aggressively. Oh my gosh. The idea. Jennifer's like, look, we're going to take it back to Trip, So Trip can use it. Now it's his turn. I was like, nah. -uh. <laughs> was she was nah. So no way. This is mine. What are you talking about? So, so Charlie has a few more years yeah. to use it and to love it. And Trip's <laughs> only, he's only four months old. So like, he's fine. He's <laughs> But eventually, it'll He'll come get back. added to the it, list. That's right. It'll come back, and it will be trips. But what she means by added to the list is on the bottom, we have my name. My name's Erica Page. And <laughs> the dates that I had it. Oh, ownership <laughs> of the briefcase. Quite a long time. From <laughs> 1988 to 2021. <laughs> that's a long time that I owned the suitcase. And then Charlie Rose, she's had it from 2021 till whenever she decides that she's finished using it. Because right now, you talk about taking her a suitcase. She got mad. <laughs> she's on fight. She We're got, fighting. She got big it's mad. fighting. We're fighting. Those are fighting words. Like, no, thank you. But anyway, so whenever she's ready, she will give it back to us. And Tripp's name will be written on here with the dates that he has it. So, I just wanted to share this little suitcase because it's something special that is in our family that we love. So, Nana, if you're watching, we love you. And love thank you. you thank you with this suitcase <laughs> that you got a long time ago that I'm sure you never thought would ever last this long. <laughs> but, or go through as many generations as it has. Right. It's crazy. But here it is. So, <laughs> we appreciate it. But, 
anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more fun. Uh, we will probably do another video because while well, Jennifer's here, I have to have her on because I talk about her all the time and she comments. Uh, so if you're looking carefully, you can see her <laughs> comments in the in the comment section. So I'll probably comment uh, on this video like, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> I'm so, it's so crazy to myself on camera. But <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are so excited to have Jennifer and her family here, Charlie Rose and her husband, Pete. Uh, so, but anyway, we wanted to come on and have a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed this unbagging of a bag full of fun to go along with our series of box full of fun. And no matter what time it is, it's always up for yard. <laughs> Here, specifically her five-year-old daughter, daughter, Again, my five-year-old daughter. Specifically, her five-year-old daughter, Charlie Rose. And we will see you guys next time. Don't remember. <laughs> no Don't. matter what time it is, it's always time for yarn. <laughs>